Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a follow-up to my what I got for Christmas video. This year we traveled for Christmas and we spent the entire week with family and so I had filmed my video ahead of time and then because we were with family and we celebrated Christmas I ended up you know getting presents that I hadn't filmed. So I'll link the first video if you haven't seen it but um, check it out because these are all new items here. These are by uh, Goryana. I've gotten Louis Vuitton hoop earrings and I mentioned that I, I never wear hoop earrings but I really I just love this style. It, so first of all I have this bracelet from Goryana. It's kind of like a hammered hammered style and I just think it's so pretty. And then over the years because I wore it every day I just find that this style bracelet is very comfortable to wear. It tarnished and so the rose gold started fading away and it started t tarnishing and turning silver. Um, I went to LA earlier last year and there is a Goyana store so I brought it in and they would have replaced it entirely but they they but they didn't actually carry the style anymore or um, they do carry the style but not in rose gold it was only in yellow gold or silver so um, but they did take it in and they re repaired it for me good as new so it's a nice saturated rose gold and then they had this ring at Nordstrom it has kind of a hammered finish to it so I just thought it would be so cute because it matches and it also came with a dust bag. So this is the first time I got this. I got this dust bag with a Goryana jewelry. I have a few pieces from them and I've never gotten a dust bag before. But I love these because they're great for traveling and it keeps your jewelry separate. So that was one of the first things I got. I posted previously a review of the Cassie in Oxblood. And this is supposed to be the coach kind of a dupe of the Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse. And I really like this. I use this a lot. And when I don't want to worry about my bags getting messed up or if it's raining, it's snowing today. And so if I had to run out, I would use this rather than, you know, any of my LV bags. I got the Coach Cassie in pink. This one on sale, right? Either right before Christmas, but Coach was having, it was something like 30% off and then another 20 off. So it just, it came to such a ridiculous price that I just had to do it. I was already eyeing the pink um, over the summer. And I just didn't want to spend full price, you know, on this because I knew that it's not something I would wear all the time, but it just is a fun pop of color and I don't have any pink bags. And I really don't anticipate buying like, you know, a designer, a high-end designer bag in, in a bright pink because I probably wouldn't wear it as much. So I thought it would be great um, in this color for Coach. Comes with a little, there's a little tag. So that's the Coach Cassie. I have two bags back there because I technically had two more LV uh, bags added to my collection this Christmas and the first one I've already posted a video but it's the new denim Neverfull from the new cruise um, spring 2020 collection so this technically I got this this was the first purchase of the new year so we released January 1st and I'll link the video where I go more in detail about this uh, but I got this uh, last week <laughs> I love this because it comes with the denim pochette I was considering getting just the city pouch in the denim so I just opted for the Neverfull. I got this from Saks and I had some Saks gift cards so I went ahead and just got it from there. <laughs> the final gift that I got for Christmas is from my husband and we both agreed we weren't going to get anything big this year because you know we were traveling we have three kids it, it's expensive to travel last minute but then after Christmas we both got kind you know we both got gift cards <laughs> from family and he decided he would he wanted to splurge a little bit and he wanted to get me something um and so he offered to get me a, a Louis Vuitton bag and how could I deprive him of wanting to gift me something I had a couple Amazon gift cards and what's great about Amazon gift cards is you can redeem them towards Nordstrom gift cards and they are electronic so they email them to you really fast <laughs> so I used those towards this and then he you know covered the rest of it so anyway enough talking but it is the reverse on the go tote and this is in the original size I know they came out recently just on um, January 1st they launched the newest size and it's the MM but I have the GM oh my gosh look look how beautiful this bag is Ah, uh, okay, let's get into it, people. This is the reverse on the go tote in the giant monogram print. And yeah, I don't know, this is just, this is amazing. <laughs> so I tried this on in store, you know, a couple months ago and I 
was like, oh, okay, I, I get it. I get it now. <laughs> what everyone loves about this are the shoulder straps because they're kind of extra long. You know, a lot of people have the Neverfull, that's the Neverfull MM. And the shoulder straps are, you know, they're kind of short. Um, these are very long, but what's great is the top handles. So I'm only five feet tall and sometimes, you know, I have long hair. So sometimes I don't want to wear my bag as a shoulder bag style. This is just the perfect combination. And I mentioned this when I did my review of the base work tote, it had, it only has long shoulder straps, kind of like the Neverfull. So they both only have long shoulder straps that attach to the side. So they kind of just stick up or they just kind of flail out here. But these are on hinges on the inside on these um, metal hinges right here. So they fold down and then you can use the top handle. And then when you're not using the top handle, you can fold that straight down because it's also on D rings here and you just use a shoulder strap. So it's perfect. I have this purse organizer from Purse Bling and it zips at the top all the way. So this fits perfectly in here and it matches perfectly with the red. So it's great. That is the reverse on the go tote. And like I said, I know the, the MM size came out recently, but personally, it's that size is too small for me. This is definitely a work tote bag for me. Like I showed in my previous review of the base work tote, this is just a perfect size for me because I carry a lot for work. I mentioned before how I didn't like the reverse print, but I just, I really like it now. <laughs> I don't know, I like how it, you know, it kind of has a nice contrast with the colors. It has the opposite here. There's a regular monogram and then the reverse on the other side. Now on the bottom, this is the bottom. I, I do wish it had feet. I've already started using this for work and it's just so beautiful. <laughs> it's just perfect. It's a perfect size. Oh, I love it. It's not too heavy. I do carry a lot, so it does get heavy, you know, if I have everything in here, but it's just, it's great. It, this is a great bag. Yeah, reverse on the go giant monogram print. Okay, so I'm coming back to you the next day because of course I forgot to include some gifts. Uh, so real quick. This was another gift I received uh, for Christmas. And when I got it, I was like, what is this? Because it came packaged flat and it had this kind of a generic label, you know, made in China and it said display stand. And I was thinking it was, a, it w this was meant for the wall, like a wall thing. And I was like, okay, so this just kind of like a hook, like a coat hook, but it's, a purse display or or whatever display stand and I was like oh okay <laughs> thank you <laughs> so I so I put it together it has a screw on the bottom and I, I will link this in Amazon um, but here's the screw it comes in three pieces here's the main stand and then this adjusts on the back and I display my uh, mini pleaty on here and so this just stands up and you can put this on your shelf or wherever you keep your purses. But yeah, I thought this was a really cute and thoughtful gift. So thank you to the person who gave this to me. If you, you know, have bags that are, you know, shaped like this or that are round on the bottom and are relatively smaller, this is great for displaying. So at some point I will do kind of a closet um, shelf tour of my office slash closet. I got a pair of Uggs and it is these. <laughs> so these are the Ugg. Um, scuffette in Cosmos. I was so drawn to this color. It's just so cute. Oh my gosh. It's, this iridescent. I love iridescent. These are my iridescent nails. Yeah, iridescent pink. These are still available online. I think it's sold out in the pink color, but it's available in kind of like a silver and then there's a black um, glitter iridescent color, but it has a little so fur. Cute. Oh, I can't wait to wear these. So this was another Christmas present. When I ordered this, I asked for a couple fragrance samples because I was looking for, you know, I'm still trying out a few others. I have, right now I own Afternoon Swim, um, Queer Baton, and Rose de Vence. And so I wanted either a cologne for my husband or I was looking at Apogee, which is like a very, like a really pretty jasmine floral scent. So I asked for that and a few others. And so she was really sweet and she sent this little gift box with a bunch of the fragrances. And these are really cute because this box looks, it looks like it was meant just for the fragrance samples. So here they all are. So she included Apogee, a few others. I like Cactus Garden and Sun Song. Those were part of the three unisex fragrances that was part of the Afternoon Swim, the same collection where the design 
uh, the packaging design was designed by Alex Israel. So I'm gonna test these out. I'm really into layering. So, you know, if the fragrance notes complement each other, like florals go with florals, um, and then, you know, like musky scents can go together too. Um, so anyway, yeah, I'm interested in kind of testing those out. So yeah, really cute gift idea. Also. So these are all the other gifts that I wasn't able to include in my first uh, What I Got For Christmas video. By far, this is my favorite. <laughs> I've already used this so many times. This is this is relatively new, but wow, I I really like the on-the-go tote. And so I will definitely be featuring this in upcoming videos. So be sure to check those out. But I hope you enjoyed my What I Got for Christmas. Uh, I guess it's a series at this point. Something like the Monday after New Year's is one of the biggest shopping days um, after Black Friday because so many people have gift cards that they got from Christmas. So let me know what you plan on getting. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.